emulgence. This is actually a kind of heterogeneous system. Why? Because we have two phases in the emulsions. One is the immiscible. This is actually a liquid phase. This is supposed to be dispersed in the shape of drops in the second phase. So here we have one phase. Phase number one is with us. This is the phase number one. Now what happens in this phase if, if, if drops are actually uh, dispersed then this becomes emulsion. Now these drops are actually immiscible with this liquid phase. So we got actually a kind of heterogeneous system. So this kind of heterogeneous system is actually noun is what emulsion in which one phase is immiscible in the another phase and this immiscible phase is dispersed in the form of droplets in the second phase here is the phase with us now in this phase we just dispersed the droplets and this will now become emulsion i hope you got now a question rises if this is immiscible if the droplets are immiscible in the liquid then how the system is actually formed very simple uh, there we have emulsifying agent by mean of this emulsifying agent what happens this droplet is a kind anchored means a kind you can say then forming a bond with the second phase the liquid phase this is actually a kind you know helping emulsifying agent is actually helping the two phases to join together helping the two phases to join together guess what if we get a kind of deformity uh, in uh, connection of these two uh, phases means the droplets are not connecting with the uh, external phase with the second phase what happens there then we get the stability disorders now what are the stability disorders simple we have certain types of stability disorders and they are like dispersed phase irreversible type irreversible type phase inversion type now what are these simple what happens when the dispersed phase i mean when the droplets are actually joined they will form a big drop one drop will be formed means you can say a kind larger drops uh, will be formed there then those larger drops uh, or large particles they are actually formed by mean of two ways sometimes they form reversible type of connection these droplets they form reversible type of connection and sometimes these droplets form re irreversible type of connection in case of reversible type of connection these droplets will form the cream that process is called creaming when the droplets approach each other and they form a kind of uh, uh, large particles or large drops so then they are actually a kind settle down sometimes sometimes they are on the top of the uh, system so what happens this is actually called as creaming and this is actually a kind of what's reversible stability disorder what happens if 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 these droplets combine together and uh, the entire system is actually cracked that is actually called as cracking and named as irreversible disability or disorder of the emulsion and another disability or uh, stability disorder is actually phase inversion now what is phase inversion very simple phase inversion is actually we have uh, suppose uh, this is actually a kind you know water and in this if we add oil this is called as now what oil in water emulsion what happens in the phase inversion if we increase the concentration of oil it becomes much more than the water if we increase the concentration of oil and it becomes more than the water then the new type of the emulsion is formed which is called as what water in oil why because oil is now more than the water so what we did here we did dilution a kind you know we did dilution of one we increased one and we decreased another so this kind of uh, this is actually a kind man-made we do this okay we do this ourselves this is called uh, what stability disorder this is called phase inversion stability disorder so here we got how many types of stability disorders simple we got uh, three types reversible irreversible and phase inversion reversible is named as cracking a uh, creaming irreversible is named as cracking and uh, phase inversion in which the phase is changed to another 
means oil in water becomes water in oil like so this kind of uh, stability is known as phase inversion stability disorder and one another very important point that you guys are supposed to remember is regarding the droplets these droplets should exceed the diameter that is actually 0.1 micrometer it should not be less than this if it is less than this then the, again this severity disorder can happen and another important point that uh, i want to repeat is that emulsifying agent should be chosen the best one in order to get the best what type of emulsion because it is all about emulsifying agent to uh, place the droplets in a specific positions so if there is no emulsifying agent of proper type droplets will not be dispersed properly they will come together they will coalesce together it means this one they will coalesce together they will form larger droplets and then those droplets if they are reversibly formed they will that will be creaming creaming and creaming is actually a kind you know we got the concept here that this is actually a kind easy for us to get back to emulsion but if it is cracking then we cannot get back to the uh, specific emulsion we had before you can say in short our immersion is actually completely kind of destroyed because it is irreversible irreversible type of stability disorder and another is because of us if we don't have the knowledge to add proper uh, phases together means to combine proper phases together like we are supposed to uh, add the oil in the water but we add what we add more water in the oil so like this we are actually changing the immersion type to another one so this this is all about if still you have confusion anywhere drop in the comment box and thank you for watching